my cockle today it is po aha which is thursday it is yanuali e lua yes which is january 2nd so paulele's cap if you guys don't know or have been following i don't know if i even like went into detail about paulele's teeth basically us as parents we messed up big time on paulele's teeth like i felt so sorry and so guilty in there <laughs> like I cried about this like when you're a parent you cry about a lot of things <laughs> but I literally cried about this because I feel like I failed Paulele and her teeth I'm never really I think even wanted to explain this or talk about this because I was so embarrassed but you know what I'm trying to be more real I'm trying to be more raw and I'm pretty sure some of you can relate to this so just kind of like a backstory for our first two kids we're really good with brushing their teeth especially Puolena she has like no cavities ever since she was born Puloku he did have cavities and then when it came to Paulele she had a lot of cavities um and she even had root canals when she was like she still is a toddler but she had root canals like around three years old she went to the hospital i think i show that she went to the hospital to get her teeth work done when we moved back down here she was doing like dental work and like root canals in chair at her other dentist's office on the big island but this one that we have here which is the one that i've been going to when i was um like a kid they're really good they suggested that she go and get her dental work all in a hospital which was at Shriners so she did she went and got all her dental work done and she has like silver caps on some of her teeth and then like on the front part it's like white to make it look like normal teeth kind of like to the naked eye like if you look closely you can see the silver like behind it one of her tooth her tooth in the front you already seen it fell out and it's because it is like her teeth was basically like rotting and fell out normally i think kids lose their teeth around six years old she is five but she lost it sooner because it's a rotting tooth like i said i was so guilty like talking about this but i'm gonna be real i'm gonna be raw with you guys even when the dentist up in the big island when they first noticed all of this they said that it is common to see this happen in the younger siblings because everyone is when you have your first kid you're like super anal about everything you're super like on it but when you have more kids it's like you have less time to focus on each child because you have to focus on all of them and they see that it is common when it's like the younger siblings that this happens a lot so it kind of made me feel better but i also still obviously feel really guilty really really sad about it but uh, all we can do is progress forward and get her teeth better and healthier and of course when her adult teeth come in like ever since then we've been like really on it so anyway so like her first tooth it just fell out and then one next to it it the cap fell off so her tooth is exposed and it's smaller than the rest of her teeth so i called the doctors and they said that or her dentist and they said that she needs to come in to be seen they probably are going to extract that tooth so so this is gonna be interesting because up in the big island she did get a tooth extracted actually yeah she did get a tooth extracted because it got infected face got swollen it got infected and she had to extract the tooth so she already had like a tooth extracted once um, but she is pretty traumatized because of all the dental work she's been going to she's been having like she's just so traumatized when she goes to the dentist now which you're like not like not like saying one is better than the other but this one is catered towards kids more and like you've seen it like they have tv screens above um the chairs so like when they're laying back they can watch tv and stuff like that and but to be honest if you watch my pros and cons versus big island on oahu everyone can agree that just the medical field down on oahu it beats every other island so they're just far more advanced over here they have a lot more to offer here which is why a lot of the outer islands you have to fly to oahu everyone can kind of vouch for this i'm glad that we moved back and now they're going to the same dentist i did as i was a kid it is raining right now the dentist they told me that she can come in today at 2 15 there might have to extract the tooth because it is a little wiggly and she's actually trying to take it out herself but 
they told me that they might need to extract it and if they do they're gonna have to give her gas like laughing gas she can't eat two to three hours prior to her appointment so she can't eat anything basically like i'm gonna give her like the minimum because she's like a foodie girl she loves to eat so i'm gonna <laughs> give her to 12 o'clock to eat so i'm gonna like make as much food because like i said she's a foodie girl so right now paula is asking she already ate cereal she had a popsicle oh my gosh but don't worry, I brought your tea, don't worry. Um, and she's asking for a smoothie, and she's like, it's so delicious, mom. So I'm gonna make her a fruit smoothie. just got to the parking lot of the dentist that the kids go to it is 208 her appointments at 215 so I did a really good job at timing everything and coming over but yes yeah, so we're gonna go inside right now and as you can see I'm having like this bare face day I'm actually getting used to like no eyelash extensions but next week I'm gonna get them back because I just feel more done up and I just feel like a little child when I don't have eyelashes like I mean I like it but I don't like it like mm -hmm. okay we are back in the car obviously Oh, my alarms to pick up my kids are going off. It's winter break, but I keep them on anyway. Show them your prize, Paulele. I don't have it. It's in your pocket. Oh, yeah. No, show them your other prize. Your sticker. And then what else did you get when you spin the wheel? You got... The sticker thing. You got... No, a mouthwash. It's in her lap. If you can see, she picked the pink mouthwash. She's wearing, know. oh my gosh. Me and Paula are both wearing pink. Look at me, I'm on pink. After each visit, the kids get to pick a sticker and one prize. And she chose a Hello Kitty sticker because she's wearing like a Hello Kitty shirt. And then she chose this sticky hand thing and she put it in my pocket, so I'm putting it back in. I'm not gonna have it. I'm taking it back out now. So we are about to leave to go back home. Paulele actually could have eaten something before our appointment because they didn't do no extractions. They didn't have to put laugh, put her on laughing gas or anything. So she could have actually ate. And I feel bad because before we were leaving, she was like, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. But I told her she couldn't eat. I felt really bad because like I told you, she is a foodie girl, foodie girl. But yes. So everything went really well. She was giving them a hard time with um, getting taking an x-ray of her tooth because like I said, she is traumatized from the dentist. She just doesn't like it. So she wasn't cooperating. It took her a while, but she finally like realized it's okay. So she took our x-ray of her tooth. Everything looked good. There's like no infections or anything. It does look wiggly and loose. They said like, has she been trying to take it out herself? And I said, yes. And like, actually that's good. I'm gonna give her two weeks for her to just take it out herself. And if she doesn't, then they're gonna take it out after the two weeks, like 
then they're gonna go ahead and take it out and extract it but everything looks good like i even asked about her other tooth that fell out like how is it healing blah 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 like was it normal blah 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 everything looks really good so thank god because sometimes my mommy brain goes like a little haywire <sighs> yeah i don't know where my freaking car mount went but i wish i had it because i could talk while i'm driving Ugh. We're gonna head home. It is now 3.03. I'm gonna start warming up these leftovers that I got when I was leaving the dentist. Okay, let me turn off the car because I have to talk. When I was leaving the dentist, you know, you have to like check in with them before you leave. So I'm like, okay, I don't think he needs to see her until her next scheduled appointment, which she already like has her normal like routine checkup. And so she's like, okay, let me check. So she checked. She's like, oh, okay. So she kind of like reiterated the same thing the dentist, the doctor told me. She's like, oh, so you're going to come back in two weeks if she doesn't take it. I was like, yeah. And then she's like, okay, you have a balance. Like, um, it's 108. And I was like, really? For them to just like, take an x-ray and check and she's like oh she got an x-ray yeah and i was like yeah and then she's like yeah because there was a balance from your previous um whatever i don't know i thought it was all taken care of because we have it on a car and the payments took out and i thought it was all like good because i swear they called me and they're like oh this payment didn't go through but then they ran it again when i was like confirming there should be money in there now at least and then they ran it and they're like okay you're good thought that that we didn't have a balance anyway so they said we had a balance and i was like okay and then i was like well i can't pay anything today because literally we went on vacation and when you go on vacation our jobs like mine especially like you know i work for myself um but Darren's job they don't give him like vacation pay they don't pay him like oh you want to use your vacation pay for this trip so while you're going on vacation you'll get paid every single day like no we don't have that when we're on vacation we're out of work completely we're not making any income during the time those times when we're on vacation so i kind of let them know like we're really tight on money i don't have anything to give you right now that's the thing is like people even know this even darren's co-workers are like oh yeah like you come back from vacation you're broke it's like true to word because like i said we weren't working besides paying other bills i'm buying food for the house and making sure all of that like i don't have anything to give them but she's like okay and then she's like talking to someone else like oh so um mom can't put anything down today but they had a balance and then and i'm thinking what are you guys gonna do hold me hostage because my balance of 108 isn't paid today like i don't get it like i'm literally trying to speak as softly as i can a little embarrassing to just be like yeah i don't i can't pay anything i have no money to pay you today like i literally darren gets paid tomorrow and i didn't make any macarons since i think it was christmas because we had like puloku's birthday and we had all the holidays um like all the get-togethers and parties like i had no time to like bake or anything and i want to just enjoy puloku's birthday enjoy new year's eve enjoy new year's day so tomorrow i'm actually going to be baking but Darren gets paid tomorrow. They took us forever. She was like talking to the other girl like, yeah, she says she can't pay anything today, but she has a balance. And then the girl's like, oh. And they're looking at the computer. They're like, sorry, mom, yeah. Um, the computer's really slow. And they're like looking and I'm just like, and I'm like, okay, can you just bill me? And they're like, oh, she's asking if like we can bill her. She can't pay anything today. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. And there's people waiting behind me. And I'm just like, I don't understand what you guys have to discuss like the only thing you can do is just bill me i literally telling you i have no money to give you today what are you guys gonna do hold me hostage that was so dumb okay okay now i'm leaving i just thought that was like okay make me feel any worse thanks very much Alrighty, i'm gonna go home i'm gonna start getting dinner ready <laughs> Like mosing his way down. Pup, you need to move. 
Do you smush him? No, of course not. I'll never smush him. I don't see him. He's right there. Oh. I didn't He's just trotting away. There we go. He's safe. Well, my hair looks crazy. Uh, we are finally at home and I'm hungry again. Okay, okay. I'm almost editing. I'm almost done editing a vlog that I've been editing. I swear for like three days straight. <sighs> it's those vlogs where there's a lot of like long clips, and it's from Puloku, and it's like 15 minute clips. That's like literally the maximum when you like leave your camera. That's the max, and then it stops recording on its own. Yeah. So skimming through the whole 15 minute clips, I only like film like minute clips and sometimes five minute clips but 15 that's why i'm having a hard time because it's like uh it's just so time consuming do it again <laughs> okay so what are we making an apple pie an apple pie we're actually making candy yams mom's craving candy yams is my favorite holiday dessert i could jump because i said apple pie yeah you kind of did okay so i did it yeah Paula is helping me. I basically put the yams in already, the butter and the brown sugar. So we're just topping it off with marshmallows. So you're gonna make sure everything is covered. And you need this. No, don't push that. Ah! Oh, they cut me off on eating more. Not like it. Oh, if you're still hungry tomorrow, there's still more. Because mommy loves marshmallows. Marshmallows are your favorite. Mommy just loves sugar. I love marshmallows. I love sugar. Sugar? Water? Hey. <clears throat> I don't need that anymore. I used it. I'm gonna make the arrow tie. I'm gonna make the arrow tie. You're naughty. Gibbons and you so have no bite. <laughs> We're gonna have the whole bag of marshmallows. We gonna make it cereal. Make it cereal. Hey, not too much of it. You should put a double pan on the thing. Oh, put this on top of the pan. Yeah, just mm -hmm. in case it does it. It spills out. It's not. I love the butter. I don't care. No, I don't like it when it's too oily. Oh. I guess it's I It's like too thing. liquidy. I like it when it's <laughs> like. Good job, Anna. Now it's nothing. Though. I see. Here, Mom, you can have it. Mahalo. Break it in half. Yay. Okay, so now. Did the oven be. Oh, it should have beat already, but I think that was the kind of just beat the, the, the microwave. Okay, what does it say? Uh uh. Cook time is 25 minutes. Now it looks scary. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Look how Uncle, look how Uncle Bob looked when he was young. But if you actually it like, does, but it does. No, yeah, that's what they call like, What the heck? No wonder they called him Apple Tom Cruise. Apple pie. Apple pie. Okay. Twenty-five minutes. Wow, it's gonna be really good. <laughs> Hawaii, Upa Ama Obeoka Aina. <laughs>